Hey guys, Phantom Cave here with the latest Phantom Cave comic. Today's issue is all about Collector's Rob Class series number 21. It's Ken down the original issues in this issue from 1958, the last three issues from 1958, number 139, 138, and 137. Which, the first story is actually a final and fifth Christmas 48 page wraparound cover issued by a few. Yeah, so it's the final and the fifth, fifth and final issue of a wraparound cover which we don't see until a later date. Which, this story is a 48 page back in the day, it would cost a bit, I'm guessing. And it's, it's a, it's a, I would go, I'll give it a f three and a half out of five stars. It's, it's, it's a very, it's, it's hard to explain because I read it and I, I was into it, but then again, we have to put in this perspective of the art and the writing. But it's still pretty good, still pretty good. The story is about where this bandit tries and makes the Phantom fall in love with her, and then Diana turns up in this story and gives... Give, at near the end of the story, gives a walloping to the bandit, which actually she goes under arrest for banditry, which I actually searched that word up last night when I was reading it. It means the act, the, I think, act of law, something to do with law and judgment. And then the second story in this storybook thing is Pirate Day. So it goes on the perspective of when Bengali 400 years ago was a pirate stronghold and then the Phantom comes and ruins her plans. Which, in perspective, the pirates, they all the people dress up as a pirate for Pirate Day, obviously, but there's like three individuals who try and steal a lot of jewels worth a million dollars. Which, that's basically the plot of the story. And then the Phantom has to try and figure out how to get them and how to get the jewels back. Which, late in the story, a couple of people turn on each other, think that they're just playing them. And then the Phantom just like takes them out like usual and takes them out like usual and gives the police officer no, uh, heads up and like they got the jewels back obviously that's obviously out of phantom comic runs so the third story is mr hog it was first published i think in the third issue of the phantom and yeah it's pretty good well yeah check out <laughs> diane's mother right she's Usually, one of the people who tries and get tries to interfere with Diane's life, love life, obviously. But to me, she causes a lot of problems with Diane because she tries and gets Diane to hook up with these other people, considering that the mother doesn't want Diane to be with the Phantom. So she tries to hook him her up with account which actually he's in a criminal ring a big big criminal ring and most of the people around the town are a a part of that criminal ring and then the phantom comes and usually saves them big well out uh a couple events happen uh, phantom obviously after a while wins but yeah, it's a very good story. I like it, and it's very good. Art, again, by Wilson McCoy. His artwork, if you haven't checked out Chronicle Chambers' latest podcast, I think it's 130, 130 podcast, 
issue number that they talk about uh, the difference between Ray Moore and Wilson McCoy, which yeah, because the office, place of this place of the because earlier the Diana re reckons that there's a criminal ring, and this officer doesn't believe her, so that when the Phantom barges through the wall and has Mr. Hogg with him, there's the end of the story. Yeah, this is basically the end of the story. And yeah, the criminal ring gets captured, and yeah, this puts a stop to it. But I'm wondering, will there ever be another, like a prequel or a sequel? Pardon me. A sequel to Mr. Hogg, which I think might be alright, but again, might not be alright. Because they sort of don't want to go with a sequel, probably because it's the story's been ended, probably. So, the, the last story... Fourth story is all about the good mark and how that has been rewarded to uh, Tony, which is this guy's grand son, grand great grandson. Because a hundred years ago in the Phantom comics, um, this guy, great grandson, uh, the Kari or something like that saves the Phantom from getting burnt to the stake, and then the Phantom repays him with the good mark, which in positively it well it protects him from like he's basically Phantom protector and goes down his line family line, and he does a bit of adventurous stuff, then does retires and obviously dies. Well, not Phantom, I'm talking about Kari or something like that. And then the son comes along, gets married, and, yeah. Finds out that he gets captured by, or gets prisoners is by the... Uh, Ogali headhunters, which later date the Phantom... Makes sure because there's three people in that tribe that say, um, This is all we will do, the headhunters are all we do. And so the Phantom makes sure that they get five years of hard labor, and yeah, then the Phantom reunites the two husbands with the two wives, and that, that's basically the end of the story. End of story, right there. And then they just go on the daily things. Okay, we're going to add trading cards out right now. 100 card set plus 6 level 3 chase cards. 3 level 2 chase cards and 1 special level 1 Sly Barry chase card plus collector's binder. You can get that from available from local news agency, local your local comic shop if you have one in town. And at www.phantomcomic.com.au or phone 029261-8122. So, let's talk about front cover. I, obviously, I found out today that this front cover is done by... What was it again? Someone Burton. Someone Burton. So, it's a very good colour. I like the art in it. That's all I'm going to say on it. The stuck with... Well, yeah. So, I'm running a campaign to get to 1,000 subscribers by 2020, 16th of August. So, go subscribe down below. Like, share, comment down below if you loved that amazing comic art, cover art. And yeah, just comment down below and subscribe.